1982-83, Idaho Vandals men's basketball team. 1982-83, Idaho Vandals men's basketball team represented the University of Idaho during the 1982-83 Inca Division I men's basketball season. The two-time defending champions of the Big Sky Conference, Vandals were led by fifth-year head coach Don Monson and played their home games on campus at the Kibbe Dome in Moscow, Idaho. With expanded student seating, the Vandals set basketball attendance records at the Kibbe Dome with 11,000 against Washington State on December 4 and 800 more on February 12 against Montana for a conference record. The former was an overtime victory, the third straight over the Cougars in the Battle of the Palouse, on the same night that the resurgent Vandal football team narrowly lost to a playoff game on the road, televised on cable by WTBS of Atlanta. The latter with Montana was a deflating 19-point defeat to snap the 43-game home winning streak, begun over three years earlier in 1980. Idaho won its final three home games, but attendance fell. The highest was 8,000 for the finale against Boise State, Monson's 100th and final win at the helm. Consecutive road losses the week prior at Idaho State and Weber State had eliminated any chance of another regular season title and the opportunity to host the conference tourney. The Vandals successfully defended their title in the Far West Classic at Portland in late December and had a 12-1 record in mid-January and appeared capable of a third consecutive conference title. Four road defeats in conference and the home loss to Montana resulted in a tie for third place in the regular season with the Grizzlies, who swept their two-game series. With an opportunity to three-peat, the Vandals were the low seed in the 14 Big Sky Tourney in Reno. They lost by five points to host Nevada Reno in the semifinals and neither was selected for the 52-team Inca tournament. Weber State won the final and advanced. Idaho became the first Big Sky team to earn an invitation to the NIT, but lost in the first round at Oregon State. They led by three at the half at Gill Coliseum, but lost by 18. The Beavers had also ended UI season the previous year in the Sweet 16 of the Inca tournament. In both seasons, Idaho defeated OSU in the Far West Classic in late December, but lost the rematch in March. Between semesters on December 20, the Vandals played a home game at Columbia High School in Richland, Washington, where senior guard Brian Kellerman had starred, and 4,100 packed the Art Dold gym for the homecoming. The popular Monson had coached at nearby Pasco High School for nine years, 1967-76, and senior center Kelvin Smith was a PHS graduate. Idaho made a lengthy trip to South Carolina in January for a nationally televised game on CBS. Aftermath Several days after the NIT loss in Corvallis, Monson expectedly left his alma mater for the University of Oregon in Eugene. He led the Ducks for nine seasons in the Pac-10, with three NIT appearances. Assistant coach Barry Collier applied for the Idaho vacancy, but athletic Bill Belknap hired Bill Trumbo, a junior college head coach from Northern California. The Vandals returned to the cellar of the conference in each of the next three seasons, and attendance plummeted. In March 1986, Trumbo was succeeded by Tim Floyd, an assistant under Hall of Fame head coach Don Haskins at Texas El Paso. With Monson for all five seasons at Idaho, Collier joined him at Oregon for three more than was at Stanford for three seasons under Mike Montgomery. He became a head coach at his alma mater Butler in 1989, led the Bulldogs for 11 years, then went to Nebraska for six seasons. This ended the best four-year stretch in the history of the program. The freshmen that entered in the fall of 1979, Brian Kellerman, Phil Hobson, and reserve Ben Ross and Monson led the Vandals to an overall record of 89-26, 774, and three national postseason appearances. In each of the previous five seasons of the late 1970s, Idaho had finished last in the Big Sky, a four-year starter, 
Kellerman was first team all-conference for three years honorable mention as a freshman, and was the Big Sky Player of the Year. From the Tri-Cities, Kellerman was the Player of the Year in Washington as high school senior in 1979, but was passed on by the Pac-Minus 10 schools. For the four seasons, Idaho had a home record of 51-2-962 with a 43-game winning streak. With only two home games, they went 10-5 overall against the four Northwest schools of the pac Minus 10. The strongest at the time was Oregon State. The Beavers won three of the five. Oregon dropped all three, the Cougars lost the last three, and Washington the last two. The Vandals also swept all four games from Gonzaga, with Hall of Fame point guard John Stockton for the last three, and won consecutive Far West Classics in Portland. All Conference in addition to Kellerman, senior center Kelvin Smith was also named to the All Big Sky team. He was honorable mention the previous season. Senior forward Phil Hobson was on the second team for a third consecutive year, and junior point guard Stan Arnold was honored as the conference's newcomer of the year. Roster Schedule and results 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 Results, results.